Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I am on here to give you guys a quick dream and a prophetic word from the Lord, okay? Um, I was getting ready to go to the gym this morning, but that's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna have to go like a few hours from now. Um, but <laughs> the Lord gave me so many dreams last night, y'all, so don't be surprised if you see me on here more than one time today. Um, He's doing a thing in June, guys, and so so on. But we're we're in June. We're focusing on June. There's a fresh wind. There is his fresh wind that's covering so many of his children this month. We're all in different seasons, so not every prophetic word is for you. Take it back to God if you're not sure. If you are sure, let him elaborate more as far as what that means for you. Because I'm not God, so please don't comment in the sec in the comment section. What does this mean for me? This is what I'm going through. Stop putting your dreams in the comments, guys. Monitoring spirits are real. Keep your comments short, sweet, simple, to the point. Don't put your business in the comment section. A lot of you do that, and uh, that's not good. Monitoring spirits are real. Um, but take this back to God. If you're not sure, we are all in different seasons, okay? I know what season I'm in, and I am excited, okay? And I hope you know what season you're in. If you're not sure... Now is a great time to develop a relationship with God intimately, okay? Because everybody can hear from God. Some people just choose not to um, raise their hand and say, here, Lord, here I am, use me. But everybody can hear from God. There's nothing special about me. He is not a respecter of man, okay? Everybody can hear from God. He speaks to us all diff in different ways. So seek him if you're not sure on your season or what any of this means for you, okay? My face is itching, <laughs> holy spirit. Okay, so last night I had a dream, guys. I was looking at this clay doll, right? And this clay doll had the ugliest hairstyle, right? She had like a little stringy bang and a little flimsy ponytail and I was laughing at the clay doll's hair, right? And I heard the Lord say, let me read from my notes, guys. I'm going to change the hairstyle and it's going to be different. Say what you want, believe that it is done and it's going to be done. I'm going to change the hairstyle. I'm gonna read this to you guys again. I'm going to change the hairstyle and it's going to be different. Say what you want, believe it is done and it is going to be done. I'm going to change the hairstyle. And as soon as I heard the Lord's voice say this to me in the dream, the clay doll's hairstyle changed and she now had a full bang going across her forehead and a big bun at the top of her head. It was super cute. That was the end of the dream, guys. Now, I'm gonna explain the dream to you, then I'll give you guys the scriptures. Uh, the dream is straight and to the point, um, at least to me. Um, but your hair represents your glory, God's glory over your life and your covering, okay? The definition of glory is, some of the definitions of glory means renown, fame, prestige, honor, distinction, magnific magnificence, um, splendor, majesty, to take great pleasure in, okay? <laughs> Those are quite... Um, quite a few different definitions of the word glory. And I'm sorry if I'm talking fast, guys. My mornings, I have to move kind of fast because I, I have busy mornings. Um, and I haven't had coffee, so that's why y'all are hearing the stuttering, okay? Show me grace. I'm just on here to give a word. Take it or leave it, okay? <laughs> um, but God's glory in the Bible describes his splendor, his holiness, and his majesty, his power, right? And again, your your hair, and I think this is in First. Corinthians, I didn't write it down, First Corinthians, but it talks about a woman's hair being her glory and her covering, okay? And we all know that God is the potter, right? We are the clay. He molds us however he chooses to mold us, okay? This is in Jeremiah 18, and I'm going to read the scriptures he gave me for this dream. But he's saying, ask for whatever you want, okay? Ask for whatever you want. Believe that it is done and he's going to do it for you, okay? Ask for whatever you want. Believe it is done, as in have faith, claim it is done, okay? And he's going to do it for you, okay? 
This was a very powerful word, even though it was super short, it was very powerful. We are God's clay. He is a potter. He molds us however he chooses. And he's saying, your covering is going to be different. Your glory, the glory over your life, his glory over your life is going to be different. It's going to be majestic. It's going to be, guys, <laughs> I can't even, I don't even have the words to, as to what I'm trying to say, but if this word is for you, you're going to catch it and you're going to understand it, okay? The glory that he has over your life is changing. Many of you guys in this season, in this month, you are going to praise different, okay? <laughs> you're going to praise different. Like, it's going to be a different ball game for you. I released a word this past weekend, and God was saying you had to go through this because the way you're about to cheer for him, the cheerleader he's making you into, you're about to do backflips in the whole nine. You're not going to know what hit you. Your glory and your covering is going to be majestic, guys. It's going to be amazing. It's going to... Whew, guys, um... It, it's it's going to be big and I'm multitasking, guys, so bear with me. Uh, but he's saying the glory over your life, okay? To be renowned means to um, to be talked about by many people, to be famous. Like, he is raising up a standard and it's a high standard, okay? Many of you guys are going in, in a direction that you had no idea about. He's saying, let me grab my notes. Say what you want, believe it is done, and it's going to be done were his exact words to me in this dream, okay? Say what you want, believe it is done, it's going to be done, okay? The Lord is your glory, your glory, the glory over your life, his glory over your life. Lord, help me with these words because I need some coffee. This is like, my words sound like they're coming out in stutters like crazy, but y'all will catch this word who it's for. The glory over your life and your covering is going to be different. It's going to be like something you have not seen before, something you have not experienced before, okay? Ask God for what you want. Believe it is done and he's going to do it, okay? And he wanted me to read, um, hold on guys, my face is itching, Holy Spirit. <laughs> my face is itching, guys. Anytime my face is itching, the Holy Spirit is upon me and my nose is itching like crazy. I'm gonna read from... I'm going to read from Jeremiah 18, verses 1 through 6. And it says, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will let you hear my words. So I went down to the potter's house, and there he was working at his will. And the vessel he was making of clay was spoiled in the potter's hand, and he reworked it. And he reworked it into another vessel as it seemed good to the potter to do. Then the Lord, I'm sorry, then the word of the Lord came to me. O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter has done, declares the Lord. Behold, like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. God is doing a new thing, guys. Today is June the 1st. We've been talking about the day of Pentecost, his fresh wind. God is doing a new thing. And he is saying, say what you want, believe it is done, and it's going to be done. He's going to change things, okay? He's changing your hairstyle. As in, he's changing your glory. He's changing your covering. Things are going to look a lot different for so many people. And catch this word if it's for you, guys. And show me grace. I'm sorry about the stuttering. I have not had one cup of coffee this morning. Your girl, she cannot be, I got to do what the Lord says and release words. But sometimes it's before I have coffee and like, yeah, they just come out like crazy. Those of you that have followed me for a while, you know how I roll. But the Lord is changing your glory, his glory over your life. Your covering is changing and it's for the better, okay? It's, it's changing in a good way. Say what you want, believe it is done, and it's going to be done. I heard the Lord speak these words to me in this dream, okay? I heard his voice loud and clear. I recorded this at like five something in the morning, okay? And this is not my only dream. 
I'll be back, I'm sure, today, <laughs> okay? Um, but that's all I have for this word, guys. I love you guys. Coaching is open for now. Um, until God cuts that off. Um, but yeah, coaching is open. I love you guys. Enjoy your Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Enjoy your Wednesday, guys. I love you. Bye.